grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our text for today is the Gospel just read from St. Luke chapter 15, the story of two sons. Once upon a time there was a man who had two sons. They were both good and bad, each in their own way. Now the younger son was all fire, full of fin and vigor. He wanted something, he wanted it now. He didn't want to wait. He certainly didn't want his father or anyone else telling him what he could or couldn't do. The older son, however, he was ice. He was willing to work. He was willing to wait in the shadows and in the quiet because he knew that sooner or later he too would get what he wanted. Now the father loved both his sons, but each of them seems to have forgotten what it meant to be a son. What is the father to do? Neither happy, both there, but things were going to change. Father, said the younger son, I wish you were dead. I want my inheritance now. Why do I have to wait for you to die when I should be living the good life while I am young? Give me my inheritance, and I will be gone from this foul place, and you will never see me again. What was the father to do? If he refused, his younger son would hate him all the more. But if he said yes, his son would be gone, maybe forever. The father relented and gave his younger son his inheritance. The son went off to a faraway land and wasted it on the so-called high life. But money is never enough. And soon enough, the younger son didn't even have that. He found himself lost in a faraway land with no money, no possessions, no family, no home. His only companions, as it were, were the pigs. And there was no little bird in the lot. <laughs> Eventually, though, the son came to his senses. He came to himself. He remembered at least something of who he was. Would his father still have feelings for him? Surely he could negotiate a position in his old household. At least he wouldn't be sleeping with the pigs anymore. So the younger son began his journey home. And his soft father saw him while he was still afar off. And in a way that was very undignified, the father ran down through the fields to meet his lost son. It seems that the love of the father had never gone away at all. When the son came to him, he said, Father, I have been a jerk both to God and to you. I am not worthy to be called your son. At this point, the father couldn't contain himself any longer. He took off his robe and put it over the son's rags. Dress up my son like he belongs here, he says to the servants. Kill the fatted calf, get the best china, make sure you order the pizza. We're throwing a party like this place has never seen before. And so, the party began, and they began, as the Bible would say, to make merry. But the older son was out in the field working. He heard the singing and the dancing, smelled the pizza. And so he went to ask what was going on. The servant told him, your brother is home. 
He was lost and is now back. Now this son, this older son, he was still cold as ice, but even ice can burn hot with anger and jealousy. He's made it to bed, so the son thought. His life is set. I have remained in this wretched place, waiting for the day when I can do what I want with my friends. This one, well, he made his life already. So the older son remained outside. He would not go in. What was the father to do? He loved both of his sons, but they had each forgotten his love and mercy in their own land. They had forgotten who they were and what it means to be a son. It was as if the words from Isaiah 29 had come to life. The people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by men. So when the father went out and heard the complaint of his older son, he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But it was right that we celebrate and be glad, for this your brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is now found. So the question for you is this. Where do you find yourself in this story? Are you the younger son, sowing oats in your youth? Maybe sleeping with the pigs? Do you know that your father still loves you? Are you the older son, waiting, waiting, waiting for your father to die? Ever faithful, always measuring, watchful for when things will be rightfully yours? Are you the merciful one who only wants to be reconciled with your children? <laughs> there are ways in which we see ourselves in this story. Sometimes in different ways all at once. Foolish, self-righteous, merciful, these words fit in so well with our lives, and I expect that you can find yourself in various places. But remember how Luke started the whole thing off. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear him, and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with him. What this parable is here to teach us is that this man, Jesus Christ the righteous, receives sinners and eats with them. That means you. He receives you, warts, sins, and all. He sets you up at his holy table and eats and feasts with you today on his own body and blood. This fellowship, this divine meal, puts you in the place of honor. It is certainly not because you deserve it. It is because this man receives sinners and eats with them. And that, beloved, is the very essence of the gospel. No matter your sin, Jesus receives you as his own. No matter how broken you are or how many others you have broken, Jesus receives you as his own. No matter what your past, no matter what your present, Jesus receives you as his own. Shame and guilt, sorrow and regret, they may have all consumed you in their own way, but Jesus receives you as his own. I want this to sink in for you for a time. Let those words drip into your ears and cleanse your very soul. They are light and life and hope in a land of darkness. 
They are his words to you today. God the Father loves you, sends his son, and now because of him, you have a place at the table, not just now, not just for a little while, but for all eternity. Come to the table. It is set for you. Everything is ready. All is forgiven. You have a place here. God loves you and sends his only son into the wilderness to seek you out. Trust in him, the God of your salvation. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in true faith to life everlasting. Amen. amen.